Okay, hello, hello everybody, uh, and, uh, back for another video on, uh, Rip Cat Pokemon today, and today we aren't really reviewing or opening Pokemon cards like we have been doing, uh, but this is Rip Cat Pokemon, not all cards, just a bunch of Pokemon stuff, so today we're gonna look at some weird and strange Pokemon toys that some are unofficial, some are official, that I happen to have here at my house. So let's get looking at them. And uh, no, this is not really another New Year's video. Although it's uploaded, although it's been uploaded the day before New Year's, so this is not really a New Year's video. I just wanted something else to make a video on. So let's start looking at these. Okay, first we have these Lego. They're not Legos. They're they're like uh they're like mega. No, they're not mega bricks. I don't even know what uh these are. What company these were made by anymore? I got these a long time ago. Like, at least, like, f four or five months ago. But, so, we've got a Charmeleon. Uh, he's, he's really fat. That's a really fat Charmeleon. I don't remember Charmeleon being that fat. Uh, I don't know. These are kind of... These aren't official Pokemon toys, I don't think. But they're licensed by, like, the Pokemon company. But I don't think they're really official toys. Then there's, like, this Pikachu... Uh, with lightning on its on its hands. I don't know if Pikachu really just creates lightning from his hands. I don't think I don't think that's really a uh, very good design there. Charmeleon's like not supposed to be that fat. But then there's a uh, Bulbasaur, which they got kind of right. Got little feet. Got tiny little ears. It looks like he's got his bulb and he's doing like a vine whip or something. That looks like a vine whip maybe. But it's really weird. Look, his front feet have, like, toes. But his back feet is just flat. He doesn't have any toes on his back foot. His back feet, I mean. So that's kind of weird. And then, uh, I don't know. I think I got the, my mom ordered this off of eBay. It's just some sort of, like, little, uh, like, Quixel kind of thing. Or some, like, little pis Pixel? Not Pixel. Pixel thing? Or, like, Pixel thing. It, it looks kind of like Quik Quixels. But I'm pretty sure it's not. It's like a keychain. Uh, then I have this uh, weird chest bin thing right here. And when I got this, uh, it came with... Holy crap, something just... It just blew up. Technical difficulties. It came with... Let me get it fixed. It came with this. I don't know what kind of Pokeball this is. But there's like hinges all over it. And the chest bin came inside of it. But if we look at this chest bin, it's kind of got like a slit in its neck. Its neck is like, like, it looks like it was just hoggled onto the body. It wasn't made together. But if I look on the back, it does say 2015 Pokemon Nintendo. Uh, Tomy. I think it says Tomy on it. I don't think you guys can read it. But it came inside this, and I figured out when I clicked it, it shoots out. And then turn, it folds out into this. I don't know if this is like a game or something. It's got a bunch of different star numbers on it. And then you could fold it back up. And do it again. If you want to just impress your friends and make, them make, and make it seem like you're doing magic or something. But I don't even know what that's for. It didn't come with a game or anything. Okay, now I have these, 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 these little figures. No, I'm pretty sure these are not real because it doesn't have any nintendo or pokemon licensing licensing on any anywhere on them okay so first we've just got a wiggly tuff he it looks pretty normal there's nothing really weird about it about this one except for the weird spot in between the legs that 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 we should not be looking at that area uh for much longer then we have an azumarill which is kind of weird, but its tail is, like, really flimsy. Like, it's, like, literally about to just fall off. It's just really flimsy, this tail. But then there is... Get ready for this face. Holy crap, it's a demon. Can I focus in on that? I'm trying to focus on it. It's like a demon. Just look into those eyes. That's like, that's literally the face of a demon right there. Demon Azumarill. That's creepy. And then there is 
uh, a snubble, which looks pretty normal except for one of its eyes. Looks like it kind of has like a lazy eye. One eye is half closed and one eye is open. Is all the way open. I don't know why I won't focus on it. Like one eye, it's all the way open and one eye is half op halfway open. Uh, and I don't know if snubble has like spots on its dress. I don't know. And then we have a dugong, which is really derpy. Look at that. It's like another demon uh, Pokemon. It's got the, them black eyes. It's got like a tiny little line for a smile. This is like demon. And then I have this, uh, this, I don't, I, I don't think this is official. This is not official. It's just some knockoff Pokeball. When you click it, it opens. But it's really stubborn. And sometimes it doesn't want to open. And it's really dirty. You know, when I bought it, it came like this. Like, bad quality. And in the back, it's just got this big part sticking out. I know this like to put it on a belt, but... I don't think they had to do that. That just makes it look a little weird with that big part sticking out of it. I know it helps it stand up, but that just makes it look strange. Okay, now I have a Xerneas and a uh, Yveltal. I think that's how you say that, toys. Uh, okay, Yveltal. He looks really good uh, and good. I'm pretty, yeah, and these are official. This says Nintendo Pokemon. And I think uh, this one is official as well. There's no uh, words on it, though. But, uh, it's really weird, the tail, uh, comes on and off. It's just like a little, little ball right there that connects it to that so it can move and come off. That's weird. I don't know why they could have just made it built into the toy. And then we have, uh, a no back leg Xerneas. It's, it's really, really weird. Uh, apparently I lost the, the back legs. The legs come off see i could just grab this leg and just tear it off of the xerneas i don't know why they made it like that why do they why do they have to make it all tear apart toys that's weird oh and then we have uh as shown in our uh beware gx box opening at the end the demon pikachu it's just like normal activate demon mode boom he just like turns into a demon and is like, I will kill you. I mean, I know it's Pikachu, but he doesn't have to turn into a demon. That's just creepy. He just goes red and he's like, he just goes into kill mode. Like, kill, must kill victim. So that's, that's just weird. It's, but look, for me, it's not a, actually, yeah, never mind. It is, it's like literally, it just, it's cheeks just turning into a demon. Every, all, most of these toys are demon like. These are turning into demons. And then there's this Fletchling. I think this is official. This looks good enough to be official. But it's just stuck in the little... In this pose. And it doesn't even stand up. No matter where I put it, it doesn't stand up. It just falls. It only, stand, it only stands up like this. But I don't know why they would make something like that. Just give me a sec. Let me get a light going here. So, yeah. That's, that's Fletchling. Fletchling. There it is. So I think that's official. The only thing that's weird about it is the legs don't move uh, and it doesn't stand up. So that's not really m much weird about that. And then there is a really shiny, glistening Pikachu. That almost doesn't even look real because it shows so shiny. Just look at the shine. Looks like it's a metal made Pikachu. If you look at it really closely, it just looks like it wants to kill you. That's just kind of creepy. It's just staring into your soul. And if I look at the back, this is official. It says Nintendo CGTST. Tommy. Made in China. It's official, guys. Pikachu is made in China. It's official. Put it in the Pokedex. Okay, then this is the last two toys. Uh, they're laws. They're laws bricks. They're tiny little bricks. And this is, like, supposed to be a Pikachu. With a really freaking long tail. I don't remember Pikachu having that long of a tail. And I thought it just went straight up. I didn't know it went, like, out. But that's that's the Pikachu. Uh, he looks pretty normal. Oh, he hardly... His, I don't think he has a mouth. Is that his nose? Does Pikachu have a nose? Look how... But look at this toy. Look how, look how it's tiny the nose is there. I think that might just be a huge nose. That might be either a mouth or a nose. 
right there on the front of it. I don't know which. And it's really fragile. And why are the bricks this tiny? Just look. Cut, like, this is determined. I compare my finger to one brick. Look how tiny those things are. It's like Legos downsized by about, like... It's like Lego is like three times, like four times downsized. And it's really dusty too. You got the Charmander. It, it's pretty normal. And I got these laws. Laws? It just says laws. That's a really weird name for like a Lego ripoff sort of thing. You can't really see it, but it says just L O Z, laws on it. That, that's about it. And its tail, its tail flame comes off it's so fragile. It's see through though. That's like, that's the, like the only effort they put into this. But it's so fragile. But that about wraps up this uh, weird Pokemon toys thing. Maybe next time I'll get on eBay and, and order some really weird and strange toys. But uh, that's really it uh, for this video. Let's just, let's just cut to the ending with uh, Demon Pikachu. I will devour your soul. Get into my mouth and the video will end. Step into his mouth, guys. Step into your iPhone. Step into your iPhone. This is not a trick. That is definitely not an upside down Bill Cipher. Step into his mouth.